All right, trash. I think we're gonna put the rest of it away. What the heck is this though? It's heavy. Jessica and Zena here and we're back with part two of our giant private pick haul. We've got a lot to go over on this video as well so make sure you stick around because there's lots of 80s and 90s goodness in here. If you haven't seen the other video the first half of this make sure you go back and watch that. Uh, it would have been our last video so um, yeah lots of exciting stuff. We've already found some really cool stuff that we've pulled out of here. Um, let's show. Yeah let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get into it. Zena, what are we gonna look at first? Oh, this is cool, I didn't see that. Yeah, Clue Jr., very cute. I love the artwork on it. Okay, and then let's just go right this here. This box, Zena doesn't even know about these CDs. She knows that I got them, but she doesn't know what but they I are. But I found all these books. Yeah, look what Zena found. Um, uh, if you guys are familiar with our channel, I have talked about Goosebumps in the past. Goosebumps was my favorite books growing up. And this whole strip right here, and these, and these, and this, and this are all vintage Goosebumps. Um, I am really close to completing, my collection is like 10 books short, I think, so I'm really, really hoping to at least get some um, upgrades. I didn't know there was little tiny Oh yeah, there's like the, this. does it have the pogs in it? Oh, it's a... Oh, collector cap. So, so yeah, so I'm like 10 books shy of completing my cool. collection. And so I'm hoping that I find at least one or two out of what we've got here. Um, I've never seen this. This is actually a vintage one. Oh, it's missing one book. I bet you it's in here though. But, um, so this is really cool. I'm very excited about it. Zena brought it into the room that I was in and I about started crying. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so lots of other really fun little, um, books, like really, uh, older vintage books what probably 70s those look like 70s 70s or 80s we got a family circus the rest of this is Heathcliff. bunch of heathcliff what's this big one that's not oh, Heathcliff. That's not, yeah that's cool. oh harry and the hendersons and then there's also um space balls space balls yeah i thought that was cool <laughs> so these cds they had a ton of cds but a lot of them were um christian or country and those don't really sell real well but so there was religious stuff all over this house, but what I thought was interesting were these CDs, Nine Inch Nails, Madonna, George Michael, White Zombie, Nine Inch Nails, Nine Inch Nails. I did pick up Garth Brooks and Brooks and Dunn for our booth, but Whitney Houston, there's another Garth Brooks, Toby Keith, rest in peace, Hank Williams, Garth Brooks, Madonna, David Lee Roth, Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn Manson, what is it? Nine Inch Nails, tons of Nine Inch Nails, tons of Marilyn Manson, Sugar Ray. Tears for Fears, Sugar Ray, the um, the soundtrack from The Crow, A Perfect Circle, Power Man 5000. I'm seeing more um, Nine Inch Nails here. There was another one right there. Just crazy, the Lords of Acid, Seal, which is, I just threw it in there for the booth, but Tears for Fears, I mean, just Bananarama, great, great CDs. So I think the Nine Inch Nails and the uh, Marilyn Manson is a, a big one. Those yeah, will be good. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm gonna let Zena reach back there and grab this stuff because it's gonna try to avalanche a little. Okay, so um, I got this for Jess's mom. Um, shout out to Mama Fox, I guess. I don't know, what do you wanna call her? Uh, Mama Resale? I don't uh, know. <laughs> she started, she's uh, retired now, and she has started to do a little bit of selling on uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. She likes to sell books, and so there was a bunch of really cool books in there. I don't know books. I sent her some pictures of some stuff, and this one and a couple, uh, there's another one that she would like. Yeah, it's in there have. somewhere. So I got them for her to resell. Yep, she's starting to learn how to resell, and she, she started with books, and she's been selling a couple other little things, and I think it's going well for her. So let's see here. I don't these know. are all okay. Some of these are posters. Open some of them up. Oh, some of them. I think these top two might be stickers from like Scholastic. Oh, wow. These are all from like the Scholastic Book Fair. So, um, some of them are stickers. And then look at that Punky Brewster, a oh poster magazine. So, it's Punky Brewster posters or a poster or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Awesome. <laughs> Um, there are some of these other ones are posters as well. I know there's a Garfield poster in there. Oh, oh that's the future. I forgot about this one. Look at that. That's so cool. 
Where does it say Back to the Future? Oh, over right there. there. I yeah. couldn't see it. <laughs> I'm looking through the little camera and around your arm. Um, Is this one? No, just a really cool dinosaur. <laughs> okay, this has to be the Garfield one. There we go. Check that out. See Those me. are so cool. Yeah. Oh, the Goonies book. Oh, that's so cool. I found dude. that mixed in with the little kids' books. Oh, I just grabbed these. They're sticker books. They have stickers in them. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. The Cars book. Oh, this this one is has... full of the oh. cars and it has the play mat. So, this is actually a complete set, I think. Okay. Madeline's Christmas. The Paper Boy looked really cool. Xena's flying through the books so fast, nobody knows what they are. Oh, I'm sorry. Shoo, shoo. Well, I mean, like, people would like to... Where the wild things are is super cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Teletubbies. Creepy. I pick up anything Teletubbies. It always creepy. sells. Creepy, creepy. Creepy, creepy. You're creepy, creepy. creepy. Let's grab this little tub right here, because that's going to fall if you pull that bag forward. So this little tub, I just started filling with little tiny toys. Um, we've got uh, some... If they'll come apart, careful with them, they're thin. Dang, they're together, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Married forever. Ooh, broke it. It's oh, they were they were together. melted to each other. Darn, is that one okay though? This one's okay. Okay, well this one's fine. So we might still put them together and just see if somebody wants to buy them. But oh, I didn't realize they were Power yeah, Rangers. Yeah, they're Power Rangers. That sucks. Yep. So those are cool. Yeah, it sucks that one of them was broken. Um, I grabbed this on a whim, not knowing it's a Fisher Price microphone. I don't know if it just like reverbs what you say or what. It's got like a timer on the back and everything. No idea. A lot of this stuff in here is on a whim. Uh, let's see. Some of these watches are cool. This one is Star Wars uh, Empire Strikes Back watch. Very cool. Got um, the Lion King. Taz, Little People. These guys, we actually might have just sold their wheelbarrows on Dibdit. Oh, <laughs> man. I That's how that, that works. Now. You always find one half, and then you sell it, and then you get the other half later. So, Big Bird. Uh, we sold a yo-yo in the uh, booth the other day oh, really quickly, so I grabbed that. Thing or whatever. Yeah, there's our other Richie Rich. That one needs to be cleaned. Uh, My Little Pony. Another Taz. Some motorcycles. There's a Harley right here. <laughs> Oh no, no, that's not a Harley, is it? It's a Honda Valkyrie. Shame on me. I'm not a good Harley owner. Uh, the McDonald's semi. <laughs> Big Mac. Very, Very Big cool. Mac. All right, next. Boop, 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 boop. We got this hug a bunch, or Huggins. She's in such clean condition. I can't get over it. She's so clean. Mm -hmm. And there's, like yeah, Xena found all the little Taco Bell ones. We actually just sold oh, one of these in our booth. Oh, by Giggle, Gigglet. Gigglet. <laughs> oh, okay. This little Huggins. gold one, I think, is the one that we had in the booth. What's its name? You gotta pull it up. Yeah, Fluffer. Fluffer. This is, <laughs> this is the one that we had in our booth. So, Those one, cool. two, three, four of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. all, all there's four of them there. So, very cute. They all have their little Taco Bell tags. Another Pound Puppy. Pound Puppy. We keep finding those lately. Uh, really old Woodstock. Yep. Okay, we got... I found these tins. One of those has... Did you pull the stuff out of it? Do you know no. what's in it? Uh, I know what's in it. I looked at it, but I didn't like... I just like kept going. They're like NASA trading cards. They're metal. Wait, what's that one? Oh, that's a Beetleborgs one. These are metal, Yeah, though. there's two metal NASA cards. Those are cool. Oh, no, I wonder if those went... There was a NASA game in the call closet. I wonder if those went with it. Oh, well. I don't know how we were supposed to know that until now. I just put two and two together. That's not the one I'm going there. Let's see. And we just had a What Sold video where I talked about these Fisher Price flashlights. flashlights. And lo and behold, we found the horse. So other there are other animals. It sticks a little, so I'm going to have to mess with it, see if I can get it to not do that. Um, but the little tiger that I had sold for 15 bucks or $13. I can't remember. We found, I found this. It's a Pez dispenser. Yeah, he's got a... Yo, he's got Pez in him. Yeah, he's got a whole thing in there. Uh, I found this... Uh, Ninja Turtle. This Ninja is Turtle. a newer one, but still cool for our booth. Uh, there's some Bugs Bunny. There's a Garfield. It looks okay. like he's supposed to be sitting on something. Yeah, we have the little vehicles for that, too. That's a little a little people. Yeah, a SpongeBob little thing. Anyway, uh, there's no like idea. a Tigger in here. And, and a, a Sylvester. Sylvester. And... Fozzie Bear and another Pez dispenser. Okay. 
So then, then I also found these little guys right here. So what's in here? What are these guys? What is that? Let's see if I can look at it in the light. Um, it says TriStar on it. Now this, I know, is Gumby's girlfriend. She doesn't say TriStar, does she? No, this is different. So this is something different. That's Trendmasters, Gumby, Pokey. Um, this chick, I can't remember her name. I don't know the girl's names. There's another guy. Is that one? Yeah, I guess that goes with them. Yeah, so a whole bunch of little Gumby figures in here. It looks like two of everything except for Gumby himself. Um, and then these little dudes. I've seen these before. I just don't remember what the heck they are. And a really old little rubber Odie. So, that's cool. I like the Gummy figures. I think those are neat. We got a little set of uh, uh, Babysitter's Little, little Sister, sister. Book if, set. If you guys find Babysitter's Club, whether it's the OG Babysitter's Club or the Little Sister ones, they do sell if you have big lots. I've sold the this Little Sister set before. Like, not this set, but a large lot of them on uh, Mercari way back when I first started. Found some Archie magazines. Those will end up on Dibdit more than likely. Okay. In the future comic book. And then you awesome. show everybody the... All right. Videos. This one is pretty much, for the most part, all CDs and... Um, DVDs? DVDs. Thomas and Friends. We've got some more um, Land Before Times. These are... These last few here are all Land Before Time. Anything that was Nickelodeon. Like, this is actually for a Video Now player, which is kind of cool. Um, but Jimmy Neutron, that's a good one. And uh, was it Fairly Odd Parents? Um, the Wiggles, I found there are some Wiggles DVDs in here. There's one right here that is brand new sealed. Um, also mixed in here is a religious one. We grabbed, our, well, I grabbed all of the religious DVDs that were brand new. There's a bunch of them in here. Can you take that? Yes. Please, thank yep. you. Here's a bunch more CDs. A bunch more Marilyn Manson, White Zombie, Eurythmics, Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson, Cypress Hill. Uh, there's Lady Gaga in here, no doubt. Several Lady Gagas, um, Gwen Stefani. That is so weird with the, all the religious stuff. With all stuff. the religious stuff, yes, I agree. See, there's another Lady Gaga, so really cool. Um, here are the, this section, pretty much from here to here is all, oh, well, there's two Statler Brothers <laughs> um, farewell concert, but the rest are all, the rest are all religious and they're all sealed so i scanned a couple of these and i was seeing some that were ten dollars some that were fifteen dollars and being sealed i can list them in five minutes or less this thing i just grabbed on a whim the Eng engineering and empire the complete series on the history channel that's surely that's decent um, bob the builder uh, i found a bunch of dora the explorer ones more thomas the train bob the builder uh this looked really, really familiar to me. I'm not sure what the heck it is, but it looks super familiar, so I grabbed it. Xena showed me this. This is a um, sealed VHS, and it looks like a boring movie, honestly. Rock Hudson in the John Frankenheimer film Seconds. But this is a screener, so um, this was would have been, it says provided for distributors, so this would have went to a video store before it was actually released for customers to rent. And this is what they would have put up on the TV in the video store. So you could see the little previews in the video store. I worked at a video store for a little while. That's the only reason I know that. But um, So sometimes, especially with big titles, these can be worth quite a bit. This may not be worth anything, but I figured I'd at least try. Um, and we got more Wiggles. Cheaper by the Dozen. Swamp People. Oh gosh, Wiggles, Wiggles. A couple of horror movies. Halloween and Bats. Elmo's World. Here's some more religious ones. Wedding Singer. Like this, I would never pick up, but it was brand new. So, easy list, even if it's only like three or four bucks. Okay, Here's that. one. Shout out. You guys will love this. Crank Anchors, Uncensored. That might be worth a decent amount. Oh, shoot. Is it in there? <gasps> no! Failure! I have failed. I suck. Dang, I was excited about that one, too. All right. Moving on. Okay, let me put this Now back. that I'm sad. <laughs> All right, so I reached up there and grabbed this. We got the little Mickey Mouse mug, really cute. It's a rubber mug. Um, another boxcar children on its own. This little Snoopy set. It might be missing a book one. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to look at that closer, but I thought that was cute for the booth. 
Here are, where are those glass things at, Zena? Grab them real quick. So I found these, and then Zena brought over the glass pieces to them. I grabbed them because they're brass, and some of our friends keep saying brass is good, brass is good. So I thought these were cool. They could be mounted on the wall. It almost looks like you could hold it, but there we go. We think those belong with it. Maybe we're not. not. They may not. Uh, oh, those go on the inside there. Oh, okay. Watch your finger. Okay, there we there go. go. That looks cool. Those are pretty cool. With the crackle, crackle glass, isn't that what you call it? Mm -hmm. Looks like you put um, candles in those, huh? Yeah, it must be candles. Um, I found this, Sophia Frida, Freda. It's a Cabbage Patch Kids um, birth certificate with the adoption papers, so that's cool. Just grabbed it because it's different. Let's see, you got a little springy <laughs> sack race, uh, Elmo. Uh, this guy, I don't know if he is, I don't think he's supposed to be Winnie the Pooh, but he has a music box and I believe, is he Dakin? No, Animals of Distinction. But I thought it was interesting because he has a music box in him. Uh, we got Pammy from Shirt Tails. We got... We got ducks, ducks flying over. Ducks flying over. Quack, quack, quack. Um, two ducks. Uh, this creepy bunny, look at that tooth. Ooh. Uh, no idea what this is. I just thought it was creepy and old. So, it's and a puppet. made in Korea. It is a puppet of some sort. We've got the SeaWorld, vintage SeaWorld dolphin. This one I just thought was super cute. I'm going to have to look her up though. She does have a tag in there. Uh, KY International Inc. <laughs> uh, Cabbage Patch Girls shirt. This I thought was super cool. Matchbox Megaphone. I wish it worked right now. I would yell something at the neighbors for fun, but mm -hmm. really cool. Um, <laughs> let me know if you guys remember these things. It's like a accordion, but a whistle. A key Monica. Um, I remember playing with these when I was little, so I had to grab that. This just looks like a uh, regular old plastic toy boat, but it is made by Tootsie Toy, so that's why I grabbed it. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Tootsie toy. Um, and then a little Chucky Pickles. Not to mention the popcorn tin. Power Rangers popcorn tin. Popcorn tin. That is really cool. And somebody, I have a feeling, is going to buy it and make a really cool trash can out of it. We also got this uh, VCR DVD recorder. Yep, we're going to have to look. It. I will look this one up and put it on the screen for you guys. What is it? ZV40... ZV40 or five golly ZV450MW8 DVD recorder. These with, can be really good. So remote with the remote. We're hoping. Okay, be right back. All right, guys. So here is the other VCR that we picked up, combo unit. Um, it is a Samsung, which is a good brand. Um, but this just looks like a regular old. It doesn't look like it has a DVD recorder or anything. Look at the price tag that the estate sale company had on this. $125. The lady there uh, that who's uh, who was handling the estate, who's a relative that we were talking to, said uh, a lot of people, I guess, complained about the lady's pricing. So we already know 125 bucks is outrageous, but um, I'll look it up and I'll get a comp on the screen for that one for you guys too. Okay, here's this uh, old Coca-Cola popcorn tin, um, but it's full of stuff. Yeah, we didn't even look through this. We just saw the top and then oh, bought it. Yeah, we just were like, eh, just grab it. There's some more watches in there. What do we got? Jurassic Park, it looks like. Um, Beauty and the Beast, Power Rangers, and something else. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, there's a Power Rangers toy. There's a Rita Repulsa right there. Creepy old bat. Okay, let's just see. Here, gonna dump it, ready? Woo! Look at that. Land before time. It's ducky. <laughs> Ouch, gum, ouch, bubble gum. Ooh, that's worth money on its own. Those do sell. I will look that's up a it? comp for you guys. Yep, I'll look up a comp and, and put it on the screen. Oh, we got Aladdin figure. Aladdin. Oh, Lion King brush. That's right here, super put cute. It in the bucket. Oh, it's getting messed up. We'll see. sit that one out. Oh, Barney. Oh, that's a creepy Barney. Look how big his head is. <laughs> a wacky alien stick-ons. I guess you throw it at the at glass or something. Petrie. Power Rangers. 
What is it? Mighty Ducks? That's from, yeah, I think that might be Mighty Ducks. The cartoon. Something random. Random. Uh, I recognize this from one of the Disney movies. I just don't know what. Oh, push the trigger. Hold on. So cool. <laughs> we had the best toys growing up. We literally just put this in our booth. One of these in our booth the other day. What's that? Oh, look at this gorilla from McDonald's. It's like a wrist squirter or something. It's in yeah. M &M. a gorilla from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Felix the cat. Yeah, look at all of these Mighty Ducks figures. Oh yeah, Cake those toppers, are cool. We'll have to put all those together. There's another one right there. What's that? Uh, this is a Hot Wheels motorcycle. I don't know what that guy is. Look at that guy too. Oh yeah, he looks familiar. I'm gonna sit on the car because this is making my back start leaning over. Oh, it's Pork Chop from Doug. I love that cartoon. Batman. You can, one of the streaming services has it. I don't know what that is, but he's way cute. Another Batman. Yep, there's a Batman. Superman. Uh, Lady and the Tramp, right? No. Half of a G.I. Joe. <laughs> That's not Lady and the Tramp. What is it? Is it Tramp? Is that um, All Dogs Go to Heaven? Uh, is it from Oliver? Or oh, Oliver, maybe? I don't I'm know. Sure. Y'all let us know in the comments. We're dinguses and can't remember. Oh, Cookie look at it. Here's his bottom half. Oh, yay. If that's a real G.I. Joe, we might want to put him together. His waist just fell apart, too. <laughs> there, we'll pile it all together in there. What's that? Is mm -hmm. there anything in it? No, it doesn't seem like it. Weird. Oh, here's the comb to match the brush. Oh, look at that. Ready? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that is cool. Hold on, let me see if I can get a... I'm getting a glare on it. So you got Darth Vader, Yoda. Darth Vader, Yoda. That's really cool. Battery back to some stuff. Maybe we'll find... Maybe we know have what those go to. Some All right. World. I used to have one of those. We're getting down to the junk. Look at that, dude. That guy's from the Olympics. This is from those little books. There's like a whole set of these... Uh... Uh, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, Mighty Ducks figures. What is that? Ew, ew, that's sticky. Oh no, that goes somewhere else. Called the trash. Vampire teeth. We're gonna trash that too. Another Aladdin. Ooh, a light up yo-yo, but it is so corroded. I would have played with that. That's gonna go in the trash. Another Aladdin. <laughs> What's with all the Aladdins? There's another weird little dude. Okay. Oh, streaks. We haven't seen any of the cars, though. Get the rest of that and All right, trash. I think we're going to put the rest of it away. What the heck is this, though? It's heavy. How does this open? Is this a transformer of some sort? Hmm. What is this? Zena, come see if you can open this. Look at it. That lifts up. That's the head. Okay, Zena's gonna try to open this for us because I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> the arms look like they come out that way. Uh -huh. What the heck do you think he is? Is he die cast in the middle? That looks like He's a metal a part. Robot. There's his little arms. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to have to Google lens that guy and figure him out. Oh, wait. Is there writing right there? Bandai. So this might be Power Rangers. 1985, though. I think it says 1985. So if it is, that's not Power Rangers. Anyway, really cool. All right, we're going to pack this up. Oh, there up. we go. They turn like that. Oh, what'd you do? Turned his... Turned oh, there. Xena got his legs right. Okay, and yep. then his little arms come out like that. There you go. There we go. He's pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to pack the rest of this in this bucket and move on. So here is one of the first things we saw that I just, just almost lost it over. We got Jordan. We got the whole crew and Joe. How? Stinking cute. Or Joe. He didn't go by Joe. Didn't he go by Joey? Uh, Joey McIntyre. I don't know. Those are super duper cool. So we're going to have to put those in the booth for sure. All right. Up next is some clothing. We've got, this is a vintage um, color block Nautica. Like it's puffy. It's got some staining in the whites, but big color block. These are like, you know, like the nautical flags and stuff. 
and it's reversible the inside is just solid blue but it is reversible so that's really cool um i grabbed this because it's nice and it's a 5x so we did find some 5 and 6x clothing there and that stuff can sell pretty well because people that are larger have a really hard time finding clothing so um but this one is btc bay oh bay trading company yeah 5x so but it's really super nice it's very very clean and then i grabbed this listen it's not real fur if it was real fur i probably wouldn't mess with it because my brain it's not that i'm against it or you know i mean i don't like it but i don't like the feel of it when it's real this is fake but it is vintage jordash you can see there the liner and then the tag so really a pretty cool jacket it's in super clean condition also i think this will end up in our booth and then xena has got another pile of clothes okay and then we have one more pile of clothes back there too okay i found a bunch of these t-shirts so we got this one right here that one's new with tags and it is also like a 5xl yeah okay we got this one right here i just thought it was cool looking you know what? I just realized we've been doing this video and we never said anything about your beautiful new haircut. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Wonder Years. I don't know who. The, it looks like Grimace. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. Uh, and then I grabbed uh, this one. It's a North Face. North Face. Let's see what the estate sale company had put on this. $18 on a North Face t-shirt. We probably will sell it for $15 on eBay if we're lucky. And this is also a 2XL. A 2XL. So it's a good size. Maybe we can get a little bit more out of that. I don't know. We'll see. This one right here. Pink Floyd. This is a 5XL Pink Floyd. I just thought this one looked cool too. What's, what's this brand? Newport Blue 2XL American Bad Boys. That one is pretty cool with the classic cars. Okay. Then these champion shorts are uh, 3X. Yeah, they are 3XL. 3XL, but I might cinch them up and wear them myself. They look comfy. Okay, and then of course I found my linens. I did not know you found linens. Found some linens. Zena can't go to any sale without finding linens. She always finds them. Oh, these are pillowcases too. Oh, they're pretty. They need, though, this one's got some staining. I'm gonna see if I see if I can get yeah. it out. Um. Is that stitched on or is no, it printed? It's, pr it's like paint. Oh, it's like painted on. Weird. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, this one. That stitched. one is cross stitched or not yeah. cross stitched, embroidered. What do yeah. you call it? Embroidered. Okay. Okay. So we got this. Uh, somebody made this a a Norfin troll um pillow. So it's really cute. But I it found needs some washing. New. This is a um chevy corvette it looks 5X. like it says 5xl and it says corvette right there so yeah chevy corvette um, oh yeah there it says there too. 5xl this one is foundry and it is a um 6x 6xl yep it's got a 20 dollar retail pack. tag on it so we'll probably lot these together another foundry 6xl foundry is and not a great brand foundry but 6xl yeah you find um oh that's a something sweater thicker. it's a sweater or sweatshirt oh okay so that's a sweatshirt and then the other two are t-shirts we'll probably just lot it lot the t-shirts together yeah so i just i mean grab them because like like she said the size sometimes harder people will find that and so yeah and they're them. new so that's yeah, awesome brand new all right so here's the rest of the clothing and then we've got the games and then we've got some stuff right over there too I picked this up because I thought it was funny. I'm an old fashioned food processor. <laughs> That'll go in the booth. Um, these are actually for me. Nice pair of shorts. Okay. Some more um, shorts. And I think these are vintage Adidas. I'm not sure. It looks like a really they, old yeah, tag. Yeah, they look a little old. They're probably at least Y2K. So okay. we'll get those cleaned up. And here are some vintage t-shirts that I found. Are they single stitch? Yep, they're single stitch. Summer, super summer 95 and super summer 94 those are cool uh what's this one i can't remember toto i don't think we're in kansas anymore and this is vintage single stitch made in usa really cool this one is also vintage single stitch uh caravan roundup northwest oklahoma district church of the nazarene so this will probably end up in our booth because it's uh, oh gross we're gonna have to clean that <laughs> Um, that'll probably end up at the booth because it's Oklahoma specific. I just put a whole bunch of Oklahoma vintage tees in our booth, so hopefully they'll do well. Um, this is something that I saw. This is what I was, t I told Zena earlier. There was some clothing that I saw the prices and I laughed. 12 bucks for some used Dickie jeans? No. I can probably sell them for 15 on eBay, but 
Uh, luckily, she gave us good prices. So oh. this is actually a kid's shirt. It's a vintage. It is made in USA. It's got like a serious... Oh, it says P.S. I love you on the back of it. How cute. Made in USA tag. Two-sided little Halloween sweatshirt. Thought that was really cute. And another one. I think this is a size small. It looks like kids... Who knows what Turner East Band is, but... That one looks like it's never been washed. I saw this one. I this grab I grabbed that. because it's a, um, like, Y2K. Does it have a date on it? Sometimes Nike does. It does not. But, um, it I'm pretty off. sure that's a Y2K Nike shirt. So, embroidered check on the, uh, front. This is, a um, like a 5XL Polo Ralph Lauren. It does, I just saw a hole in it. But the reason I grabbed it, Zena, hold it up, is because of these big ponies. If you find, um, the big polo ponies... That can be, um, that's a great keyword, help you sell vintage Polo Ralph Lauren quicker. This is just a cool shirt, 5XL, um, Nintendo. They wanted 25 oh, bucks for this. it's new too, it's still got a sticker on it. They got 25 bucks on it, on a t-shirt, on a t-shirt. I don't care if it's new or not. <laughs> <laughs> this one, okay, hold up the front first. This is vintage Tommy Hilfiger fleece pullover. Look at the big, huge spell out on the back. That is awesome. Oh really cool. Gosh. Did you not see this? No, I did not. So this is, it's actually called um, Biker Wear USA. This is like safety, but not safety <laughs> because you have no sleeves. <laughs> Dixon Street, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay. I just thought that was cool. That's it for the clothing. Uh, I got another one of the Leaves of Gold books. This book keeps following us. Zena bought one and I was like, oh, that's not going to be worth nothing. And then we, it sold almost immediately. Yeah. So. And we'll then, see if, it, if we can, uh, if lightning strikes twice, right? And then I got this one also. This one I got for your mom again. Okay. What's it called? From, from Manger to Throne. So it's a religious book. I'm pretty sure this is the one she told me to get. I hope it's the one she told me to get. We'll find <laughs> out. You said I'm getting this one for your mom. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um, I found th this was in the VHS room. Harley Davidson pillow. Pretty cool. Needs a wash, but other than that, it's pretty clean. I think it's just like dusty. It needs a, it just needs a good wash, so that's cool. And then some uh, board games, bed bugs. I used to play this game. Um, you got to try to catch them while they're jumping around. Um, I don't think anybody would make a game called bed bugs anymore. Anymore, but how funny is that? Uh, we got Charlotte's Web Scrabble Jr. A lot of these will all end up in the booth. I remember, now that I see the pen, I remember playing this game as a little kid. Totally remember this, because I remember that pen. Mm -hmm. It's the Glowworm Light and Learn. Is he in here? He or she, whatever the Glowworm is. Oh yes, it's in there, y'all. Oh yeah, I'm excited. So this game has like never been put together, has it? These aren't punched out. Oh no, the cards just lay in it. We helped me poke that back in there. Yeah. I must it up, y'all. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to play it before we sell it. Silly Soup. Never heard of it. Thought it looked fun. And Popomatic Trouble. So that's cool. Did you get this? And one? this is one also another one of the very first things that I saw. It's a um, Batman and Robin animated adventures or whatever you want to call it. Uh, like pup tent. And it looks like everything's in there. All the poles are in there. I think we'll see. We'll have to look, uh, set it up. Zena's grabbing the last little thing here, which we'll just show you it first. This is a little pot, and I was like, what the heck is this thing? I saw that it said, had this sticker on it for mono. Um, it's got a marking on the bottom, and I don't speak German, so I was like, what the heck is this? And she said she's pretty sure it's something that you would put onions or potatoes in to keep them from going bad, so pretty cool. I tried looking it up on Google Lens, and I did see a result, but I couldn't read it because it was all in German, so... <laughs> Um, and then we've got some glassware here. We actually left and had to go back and grab these because we forgot them. But So this is mostly going to be booth. This uh, will sell well in our booth. It's uh, the little, like, <laughs> goose and gander. What? Did you just... I did translate. Oh, onions. It said wiggle a second ago. Move it some. See if it'll wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it again. Google Translate at its finest. Come on. So it said wiggle know. and onions. Swing. Swing. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's quit playing with it. Um, we've got a uh, Georgetown University pint glass. A, an L.L. Bean 
like plastic uh, what do you call that uh, insulated mug I thought that was really cool that might sell on eBay um, what's this one? Oh, the Olympics Atlanta 1996 our lighting is changing because the sun's going down this one's last <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. This is older, dated 1997, so vintage Kansas City Chiefs. This is um, a, a restaurant. This is dated 1991, Don Serapio's restaurant in Oklahoma City, so I thought that would be cool for our booth. Uh, Kansas City Royals, another, I believe this one is vintage as well. Really cool, illustrated all the way around. Something just fell. It's the, the picture's just sliding Oh, down. the warning signs of getting old. You hear snap, crackle, pop, and you're not eating cereal. <laughs> <laughs> There's more hair in your comb than on your head. And you have time for all the things you no longer have energy to do. That's the truth. Stick that sticker. So she had all these marked at 25 cents. This is a Rise and Shine coffee cup from Hardee's. I thought that was really neat. I've never seen those. 1989. This is the woman's Changing to the 25 cents was the owner of the property who did it. Yes, yes. So, yeah, she was. she's getting ready for a garage sale. Um, yeah. And let us, oh, I didn't realize this one was um, personalized, but it's a vintage um, Made in USA Hawaii mug. So hopefully that'll sell at the booth, even though I messed up and didn't see the name on it. Uh, Good morning from Nashville, like pottery piece that is signed on the bottom there. We got a little corningware dish, just a little blue corn flour. This won't bring us much, but the prices were right. And we got this one. I'm not sure what this dish is called. Um, just some sort of little casserole dish, but blue corn flour as well. A stack of vintage Tupperware cups. They need serious cleaning. I just took the whole stack. And then last but not least, right? Yeah. Last but not least is this mug. But you really want to see the other side. Oh, oh, oh. Pull that sticker off of there. This thing is in terrible condition, so I'm going to have to do some cleaning on it. I'm going to use um, Peak on it to get all this junk out of here, get all these marks off of it, and hopefully I'll be able to get that paint off of the logo. If you guys are not familiar with Showbiz Pizza Place, um, that was what Chuck E. Cheese was before it was Chuck E. Cheese. Um, in really good condition. These can pull like 50 bucks on eBay, so I definitely wanted to grab that one. But uh, yeah, it is rough. It's got a few paint splatters. It's got some brown marks. Uh, it needs some love and attention. I'll see how good I can do with it. But I think I can at least get 20 out of it if I get it cleaned up for sure. So that's it, guys. That's it for our private pick. What do we pay for everything? 200, 200 bucks. We were kind of hemming and hawing with her. We didn't know. We had no idea. We had such a huge pile. And I think she was shocked that we even picked up that much stuff. And I was like, I have no idea. What do you think? I said, I don't want to throw a number out there and offend you. She she kind of stood there for a minute and eventually she said, how about 250? And I was like, heck yeah, 250 is not bad. So I looked, I didn't say that, but I fought it. And I looked at Zena and I said, hey, do you have any more cash? We had just picked up 200 and um, Zena had a little bit more cash and the lady said, just give me the 200. Well, Zena was like, do you have like um, some sort of online payment we can do? And she said, yeah. And she goes, but just give me 200, that's fine. We were just blown away, but so we ended up leaving and forgot all this glassware that we just went through with you guys and uh, called her and said, hey, we left some stuff in the kitchen. Can we come back and get it? We'll bring you some more money. And she said, yeah, don't bring me any money, though. Yeah. <laughs> she refused. I tried Zena, giving her more. She refused. Zena tried to give her $40 more just to, you know, because we, we just want her to feel good about it. And I think she does. So I asked her, I made sure before we left, I said, are you sure that I want to make sure that you're happy with this? Are you yeah. sure? And she said, yes, I'm, yeah. I'm positive. 200 is fine. She was really cool. She's just been dealing with a lot with this estate. So uh, yeah. hopefully she can get it squared away. Uh, yeah, I hate to see that there's an estate sale company out there taking advantage of somebody. That's not cool at all. So, but anyway, guys, we appreciate you out with us this long. We had a lot of fun. We found a lot of really cool things, tons of 80s and 90s, which I absolutely love and is perfect for Dibbed It and our booth. So yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. Now we got to get rid of the rest of the crap in our <laughs> garage. <laughs> but all right, guys, we love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Mate.